Hi everyone, this is Tamu. Welcome to my channel, The Cloud Security Guy, where we talk on a weekly basis about stuff pertaining to cloud security, artificial intelligence, and general cyber security advice. So in today's video, I wanted to continue my previous trend of covering the top cloud security certifications, which professionals can pursue in 2022. And this week I wanted to focus on a very like particular technology based certification, which is the AWS security specialty. Okay, I've already covered uh, vendor agnostic ones like the CCSP and the CCSK, and you can go to my channel and look at those videos. But I thought it would be a good idea to focus on more platform specific ones. And AWS was the obvious choice. AWS is like the most popular cloud platform today, right? And the security certification uh, for AWS security specialty, it's one of the hottest uh, professional level certifications around. And it's a big, like it's a big achievement if you're able to uh, uh, pass the paper. So I thought I'll focus on how I did it. I'm also certified, I'm already certified as an AWS certified security specialty, but I thought I'll just share my advice, what I did and how I achieved this certification. Uh, before we move ahead, guys, please do like and subscribe to this channel, comment, like, share this video. This will really help the channel to grow and it will really help the maximum amount of people to benefit from it. Okay, so if you remember, I discussed a little earlier back, these are the certifications we've already covered. Like I mentioned, the CCSK, CCSP, and I'm going to be covering the, I'm now moving on to more technology based, which is the AWS, Azure, Google Cloud ones. Okay. So we will, the certification, the topic for today is the AWS security specialty. So like the name says it's specialty, right? This is not a beginner level certification, but this is for those who already have experience in AWS security. As per AWS, you need to have at least like, you should have at least two years of hands-on experience with AWS before you start to move on to this certification. But if you already know AWS, like you have some experience with it, then they definitely, if you're a security guy, this is the best certification to go for. This is still going strong as of 2022. It's very much in demand. AWS is so popular and like cybersecurity is a big concern. So we, we you really cannot go wrong with this, like uh, having this on your profile. And as per the official exam guide, this is like a pass or fail. You get, I think you have to get like 750 out of a thousand. And you can see here, these are the domains. We have incident response. You have logging, monitoring, infrastructure, security, identity and access management and data protection. So you have five domains out of which infrastructure security has the most. And the person I would ask, uh, I would advise you to focus on identity and access management the most, but let's go on. So now you understand what the domains are, right? So what are my recommendations? First of all, uh, if you are new to AWS, if you do not have experience, I would not recommend you to do the certification. Okay. Uh, I would recommend you do the solutions architect associate first. That is a beginner level certification. It will give you a very good idea of like the basic foundational concepts of AWS, you know, like identity access management, uh, KMS, other concepts, which you need, which you will need uh, the AWS security specialty assumes you already know about these things. If you jump directly into this, you will have problems hundred percent. You will, it will become a big challenge for you. So do not directly jump into the AWS security specialty. Start with the solutions architect associate one. If you are not well aware of AWS and how it works. Okay. Okay. And the second thing I would definitely recommend you to do is create a free tier account. Okay. Uh, it's completely free to do. Just go to the web, just Google AWS free tier. You can create a, it won't cost you anything. 12 months will get free within certain limits. Okay. It'll enable you to create a home lab environment. So this way you can start playing around with the AWS services without hands-on experience. A lot of the questions which come in the paper, you will not be able to understand like about EC2, about like IAM policies. You need hands-on experience guys, hundred percent. I'm telling you. Okay. So this is what I'm, that's why I'm focusing so much on this. Do not make the mistake, which a lot of people do because this is not like the CCSP or the CCSK. This is a hands-on examination. So you need to have a knowledge of the AWS services. Okay. So now that you have a basic idea, let's move on to the domains. So I'm going to do it a little bit differently. Now I'm not going to uh, tell you what the domains are because that you can download the guide, the exam guide from the website and you can look at it. I'm, I'm listing down the key services, which you should need. Okay. Like we talked about incident response, right? There are services, just a few AWS config, AWS shield systems manager, WAF. You need to know these. These are just a few. These are, this is not a full list, but you should definitely know about these services within this domain. Okay. These are the services which AWS uses for automation of incident response for responding to security alerts. 
Okay, second one is logging and monitoring. Uh, you should definitely know CloudTrain and CloudWatch, what these two services are, what are the use cases, how they differ, things like AWS config again, guard duty. So all of these things you need to know. Guard duty, you can like, even if it's in a free TA, you can have like a 30 day free trial, free trial of that. Okay, so know these, these are just a few, like I told you, this is not the full list, okay? Uh, what is infrastructure security? You should know how to, what EC2 instances are, how to launch them, what are the keys, how, like how you should have access keys generated, uh, AWS inspector, uh, key management services, cloud HSM, all of those things you need to know completely what their concepts are, how they work, okay? And moving on, this is easily the most thing I would ask you to focus on the most, which is identity and access management. This is a very big topic and you need definitely without having hands-on experience, you will not know how IAM policies work, how to set conditions, things like roles, STS, long-term security credentials, temporary roles, MFA tokens, all these things you should understand how they work and how to apply it within an actual environment. And lastly, uh, the domain which is data protection. Again, you should know KMS, you should think know things like VPC, you should know Amazon Macy, which is used to detect like data, PII or PCI data, cardholder data, those things, it, things like network access control list, things like security groups. So like I said, guys, there's a lot of services. These are just a few, like I mentioned. There are like literally hundreds of, hundreds of AWS services. You don't need to know all of them. Like you know, just need to know the security ones, but like don't just memorize the name, know how they work and get some hands-on experience with them in the future year account, okay? So this is what I wanted to tell you about. What are my like uh, specific tips for preparing for this examination? Like how did I prepare? Like I told you, I worked with the field here. I got like hands on with AWS. I tried to understand how the console worked, how these services work. And then uh, definitely I would ask, they recommend you to purchase a training. You have some excellent trainings on Udemy, Cloud Guru. You have the AWS, they have a, they themselves have a two hour training. You can look at that also. I would recommend the Cloud Guru one because I did that. I think it's one of the best ones around. But even the Udemy ones, I think you even have free ones on YouTube. So they like, or you can go for the free readiness course by AWS. And it's definitely recommended as a fresher, okay? So you have, start with the training so you get a good foundation. And based on that, uh, practice. You should set aside at least one month, minimum two weeks to go over all the trainings. No amount of studying will help you get ready for the exam without preparing. So practice tests are a must or you will not be able to pass. A Cloud Guru also have some excellent tests. Udemy courses also have them. I would recommend the one I use for the VizLab one. VizLab, I'm not getting any money by this, by the way. I'm not sponsored or I'm not being sponsored by VizLab or anything. But the questions I saw, which were the best ones, were from VizLab and they were the co closest one to the examination. So definitely VizLab, I would definitely recommend to you for as practice exams. Uh, what else? I would recommend you look at the AWS white papers. These are like, they go into great technical detail about security best practices and like how they work. These are not mandatory, but I would definitely recommend you to skim through them at least once before the examination so that their concepts are fresh and you know about the detail level of these services, okay? And lastly, uh, one thing I would definitely recommend, AWS Labs. So AWS is awesome in this regard. It provides you some completely free, great labs based on their well-architected framework. And you should go through them. They have like foundational ones, they have intermediate ones, they have advanced ones. So slowly, slowly, you can build up your hands-on experience within the free tier. And this is a great supplement to the training courses, uh, to your practice test. This will really build up your knowledge of AWS. So I hope you understood now, guys, what I was trying to tell you. It's a challenging certification, but definitely if you do it in a structured way, if you understand what you're doing, you will be able to pass it. It's not impossible. Okay, and lastly, like I told you, do not forget the golden rule, which I keep repeating and repeating, but certifications are amazing, but you need hands-on experience, okay? Certifications will only take you so far, but uh, if you just have theoretical knowledge or if you just have a little bit of knowledge, you won't be able to go far in your cloud security career. You need to go into AWS, start building something. Simply having lots of search will not help you, but you're having hands-on experience will make the difference in the long run, okay? So you need to have this along with your certification. And definitely it will uh, give you long-term success. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, like I said, again, please do like. If you found this video useful, uh, do like and subscribe to this channel. And please share this video so the maximum people of, can benefit from it. Thank you very much, guys. And I'll see you next week in the next video.